Okay, so today we're going to start another Medela project. This one's going on the ceiling, and it's a two-layer process this time. So instead of just having one overlay, we're going to actually do two. So it's a much bigger Medela. This one's going to be about 10 by 15. And of course, right when you get them, first thing you want to do is open them up and make sure that you have all the pieces and everything looks right. So here's my Modelo. Once again, I get some little test strips that are coming come with this so I can test my adhesive to make sure it's not going to pull off my paint or the substrate I'm working over. I got my little paddle to kind of burnish the piece down and then this little spike to go ahead and pull it back out. So let's go on the other side of the shop where we got some space to lay this thing out and then we'll go over my uh, plan that came with the Modelo. It lays out both layers so I can make sure that I have every piece. All right. Okay, so this one's called the Chateau Carpet and as I said, it's a double overlay. So this is my layer one and this is my layer two. These two pieces came with my Modelo in the box and as you can see, it lays this out this little grid pattern you're seeing, these are the separate pieces of my pattern that I'm going to have. So each one of these represents one piece of my Modelo. So, and they're all labeled, so I got one, two, three, four, and so forth. And then on this piece, um, th these are labeled A, B, C, D, etc. So that way I, I'm going to go over to the other side of the shop, lay them out on the floor first and do a count to make sure that I have all the pieces I need. Another thing you're going to notice about this design, if you were to go to modellodesigns.com and look up Chateau Carpet, this centerpiece is different. And one of the things I love about working with Modelo Designs is I can actually call them and they're very easy to work with. And this image, you, the original image had a very kind of a lot more simple design in the center. And my client wanted something a little more complex, so we were able to find a design from one of their other patterns that the client liked and crop it and drop it into the center of this Modelo very easily. Okay, so everything's accounted for. We got it all laid out. We figured out how to count, how to do the alphabet. And uh, so now that I know I've got everything, I'm gonna wrap this back up and then we're gonna take it out to the job site. And this kind of gives you an idea of the size of the ceiling and how we're gonna have to lay these panels up. Okay, so I'm on my project and this is the ceiling I'm gonna be installing the Modelo on. So first thing I need to do is make sure I have an accurate width and length measurement of the ceiling. The length is 188 inches. The width is 122 inches. And then my Modelo is 115 inches by 180 inches. So that means on my width, I have a seven inch gap. And on my length, I have an eight inch gap. Okay, so the ceiling is eight inches longer and seven inches wider, which means that I need to divide that by two. So I'm gonna have three and a half inches on each side of the width and four inches on each side of the length. So what I'm gonna do is go ahead and mark that with tape so that I kind of create my border box that I can lay my Modelo in. And when we start laying the Modelo in, we're not gonna lay it in on one end and work to the other end because we do have a light fixture here and that has to be in the center. So we're gonna start from the center and work out, but we'll have these tape lines around the perimeter to give us some reverence. Okay, so what I'm doing is, like I said, my length needs a four inch border on each side. And so I'm just gonna go along and mark with a pencil my four inches out, and then I'll mark it with tape. And on my width, I have a three and a half inch border, so I've begun to mark that too. So this is gonna create a, like an inset reference box that I can start laying my panels in on. And also, um, we're starting with OC6 Aura Matte by Ben Moore is the base code for this particular project. So now I have a reference where to set my panels in. And this is the first panel I'm gonna start with. I'm gonna reference it off the center because everything has to end up in the middle because of the light fixture. So what I've done is I've found dead center both ways and referenced it. So now I have this, this box to slide my first panel in. So that's what we're gonna install first. Okay, so now that the references are laid out for me, this is gonna be my first panel. And what we've done first is before we've moved the adhesive backing, we've gone up and like verified that it fits correctly and kind of done like a rehearsal of how we're gonna stick it on the ceiling. So now that I'm ready to do that, what I'm gonna do is remove the adhesive backing. So now, now my adhesive's gonna be exposed. So I'm gonna get this off and then we'll go ahead and drop it in place.
Okay, now that I have my panel up, I'm just gonna take a spatula, plastic knife, and from the center out, I'm gonna just press this down and adhere it, and get all those air bubbles out. And then I can remove this paper backing and expose my design. So now what we'll do, get this off, and then just repeat around the room referencing off this one in our outside tape line and lay in the rest of the panels. All right, so now my Modelo is totally laid in and you can see I have these small gaps in some of my panels and I need to fill these in so that my paint doesn't bleed into there. And so to do that, I'm just gonna take a little bit of tape and just make the bridge. All right, so now I'm, I'm safe to go ahead and paint my inset. Okay, now the next step for my Modelo is I need to seal it. And what I'm gonna do to seal it is I'm just gonna lightly brush the edges with the same color that I base coated my ceiling in, which is OC6 Benmore Aura Matte. So I'm just gonna whisk a coat over all the lines so then I can apply my next coat of paint without a bleeding. Okay, now that I have my Modelo sealed so I know it's not gonna bleed, I'm gonna go ahead and base coat my under Modelo and I'm using Benmore 2141-50 and I'm doing it in a Aura Matte. So I'm just gonna go ahead and roll two coats over the entire surface. Let that dry, and then we'll get this one down. Okay, now I have the two coats based on my Modelo, and I'm ready to pull my vinyl down, and as long as I sealed it correctly, I should have really nice clean lines and a good image. So I'll go ahead and just pull the rest of my modella down and reveal my under image and then we'll be ready to start the next step. Okay, so I'm still pulling my vinyl down and um, if you remember, this is the first panel we laid in is right in this perimeter. I'm gonna pull all my panels down except for this one I'm gonna leave up because this is a two layer modello. Tomorrow, I'm gonna use this square box of this first piece to lay in all the rest of my pieces so they fit in accurately and I get like a good solid image that lines up okay. perfect. So uh, got the first layer of the Modelo on, left one panel in of the first one for reference. For, now we're gonna start laying in the second layer. So I'm just gonna build it right off this panel I left in and use that straight edge for a reference. Okay, so we laid in our first panel of the second layer, and uh, I had this Modelo change so it has a much more intricate center, and it's given us a little bit of problem trying to get this lined up and get the center lined up. So what we've decided to do is, before we install the Modelos, we're actually gonna cut along this line while they're down, and so the center is gonna be its own Modelo piece that we can lay in a little easier and get these little details lined up, and then lay in the panels around it. So we'll start cutting those out now. After you're done laying in all the Modelo panels, you're gonna have some gaps and some variations. So what you need to do is fill in those lines with tape so that you can seal the whole Modelo and not have any gaps and continue on with your finish. Okay, so now I've got all my little seams and such touched up on my Modelo so I'm ready to start actually finishing it. So I need to seal it. 
And uh, what I'm going to use this time to do that is just Modern Masters dead flat varnish. And so I'll just make sure, you know, I've got, got all the creases laid down nice and flat. And then I'm just going to roll a coat of this stuff over the top so that anywhere this thing was going to bleed, it will bleed clear. And it'll seal down all the, the tape pieces I put in as well as the Modelo. Okay, so I have my Modelo sealed with the dead flat varnish, so I know I'm not going to get any bleeds, and I'm going to get a nice clean line. So for this process, we're going to do both silver leaf and gold leaf to the Modelo. Um, I have these really hard borders that surround the whole thing, and that's going to be the silver. And so I'm going to start with that with my base coat of 213210 by Ben Moore, or basically black. And I'm going to underpaint all these border lines that are going to get silver in black. Okay, so I've applied my 213210 or black to all my areas that are going to get the silver leaf. So now I need to undercoat for my gold leaf. And the color I'm going to use for that is once again 214150, the same color I used on the crown and on the uh, first layer of the Modelo. So I'll go ahead and base everything in that. That's going to get the gold. Okay, so now that I have my Modelo base coated in my two separate colors, the black is going to go underneath the gold leaf and the greener tone is going to go underneath the silver leaf. I can apply my adhesive for my leafing and I'm using Mona Lisa products. This is a metal leaf adhesive size and um, just want to shake it well. It's about the consistency of water and then just brush a thin coat. In the case of this, we're just brushing it over the green area so that my silver leaf will just stick where it's supposed to on top of the green. I'm going to keep off the black for now. Okay, I've got my silver leaf. It comes in a little packs like this, these little books. And I don't have to worry about doing a really clean, like, gilding job because I'm doing this kind of, like, broken effect to expose some of that background color. So now that I've let my size set up for an hour, I can come in. I just got a chip brush, and it's going to stick right to the areas that I applied my adhesive size. So I'll just move along and let it kind of dangle there. This stuff's going to end up going everywhere if you're brushing it off. So. Um, I'll show you a trick with a shop vac right now where you just kind of brush it into the vac. Okay, so I have all my leafing on, my silver and my gold, and um, now I'm ready to overstain the Modelo before we pull it down. And to do that, I'm going to use 12 ounces of Proceed Full Body Glazing Medium to 6 teaspoons of Van Dyke Brown Aqua Color and 8 teaspoons of Black Aqua Color. All right, so now I'll just chip it on, full coverage. You could roll this too if you were working with someone. Or you could roll it if you're working by yourself. All right. So then I'm just going to take shop towel and just give it a little manipulation, some highs and lows. And then I'm going to work the rest of the room and work the crown.
Okay, so I had my Medela pulled down and everything went off without a hitch. It was a great product to work with and uh, we were able to create a very beautiful ceiling in a real short amount of time. 